Hey YouTubers, it's me, Mustard of Seven, coming at you once again through the power of Bandicam. And as you can see, we're back with more immersive routing. And as you can see by the title, we're going to be looking at all the narrow gauge rolling stock. So, uh, let's get started. First off, we have the 3000 series box car. Let's place that down. Um, looks quite nice, as you can see. Uh, it's like Denver and Rio Grande. It's quite cool. Uh, and then after that, oh yeah, and we inside, you know, we got some storage space. After that, we have the 1000 series gondola. You know, pretty cool. Um, yeah. It's interesting, I've actually noticed for a lot of um, narrow gauge stuff in immersive editing, or at least in the default pack, the truck design looks like this, as you can see. A lot of them do, spoiler alert. <laughs> Just letting you know. And now we have this one. Five... Um, 5500 series stock car. Let's place it down. As you can see, it's another Denver and, Re Denver and Rio Grande Western um, brand owned car. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's got some good detail in it and stuff. So that's pretty cool. Um, after that, we got the rail and tie car along with, along with the way car. So I'll just place this down. You know, once again, it's Denver and Rio Grande. You know, we got a little bit of storage space. Not a lot, but it's okay. At least there's some. And lastly, we have the way car, which is just a caboose. It's pretty neat, though, on the inside. And the thing that's interesting is that a lot of the narrow gauge rolling stock in the default pack, at least, is Denver and Rio Grande. That's a little observation I made. That's pretty neat though. Um, but here's a fun fact. The Denver and Rio Grande Western Railroad did act it did actually um, part of it was narrow gauge. And um, there is a line a tourist railroad that there's a narrow gauge tourist railroad I, I think it's in like Colorado that is that's a lot of that I think is on part of that um, Denver and Rio Grande line. So that's pretty cool. And once again with this you can and with this you once again you can also scale them up to different gauges I'll just show you quickly so let me just grab the way car right here as you can see it'll scale itself up and you have now just this behemoth of a rail car it's absolutely enormous <laughs> that's pretty cool and you can also place it on model so that's really tiny um that's really cute but, uh, I'd say that's all I have um, today for um, this video, so uh, thanks for watching, uh, stay tuned for more videos, and goodbye everybody.